Hello everyone, I am Sentinaka. Nice to meet you. Today, we are going to install Docker on Alma Linux. Upon researching, I found that the installation process is the same as for Cent S8 and later. Alma Linux is designed as a successor to Cent OS, and many package management and system administration tasks can be handled in the same way. Additionally, Windows users can also install it via the Microsoft Store, so why not take this opportunity to learn? Let is get started. Hello, don't you find it difficult to run Debian-based container images, which are overwhelmingly common, on a Red Hat-based host like Alma Linux? Hello, Sumugi. Container technology, especially Docker, is designed to operate independently of the host OS. So, even if the host is Alma Linux, running Debian-based containers itself is not a problem. However, I have experienced some difficulties, so I would like to touch on that briefly. In particular, due to the differences between Debian-based and Red Hat-based systems, I had to adjust the existing users to match the container. Based on my experience, WordPress containers fall under this category. However, when the container runs as root, there are generally no significant issues, even if the host OS is on Linux. I have also launched Drupal containers on Elmer Linux before, and since they were root-based, I did not encounter any major problems. I've learned a lot from this. I was hesitant because the commands are different, but I think I'll give it a try. That sounds great. Let us go ahead and install Docker. There may already be some packages installed, but all you need to do is copy and paste the instructions from the official website. For those who want to understand the meaning of the commands, there is a link in the video description, so please refer to it if you are interested. In the video, I demonstrate installation via the repository, and unless you have a specific reason, this is the recommended approach. I understand why. If you use packages, you'll have to handle updates manually, right? Yes, you have to manually manage versions and check dependencies, which can be a bit complicated for beginners. Oh, it looks like the service is not set to start automatically by default. Oh, when I installed Docker on Ubuntu, the service started automatically, and I think Docker also started automatically after system reboots. That is right. This difference seems to be due to the default system settings and service management behavior of each distribution. Since I started the service manually, I will check the docker command. The installation was successful. Next, I will configure docker to be used without sudo. So I, I tried to create a group called docker, but it seems that it already exists. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier that this Alma Linux instance was created on Oracle Cloud. I will add the current user to the docker group. Then, I will enter a command to apply the group changes immediately. This should complete the setup. Oh, it worked. Congratulations. Thank you. I just rebooted the instance. After rebooting, I could not use the docker command without manually starting the service, so I will set it up to start automatically as well. I would like to briefly touch on this. For those who Plan to use Alma Linux in the future? Please take note. In Alma Linux, the package design is based on the principle of respecting the system administrator's intent. So when you install packages, it is expected that you manually enable the services. On the other hand, Ubuntu places a higher emphasis on convenience for general users. So services are typically set to start automatically right after installation and they continue running even after a reboot. I see. These differences reflect the design philosophy and target user base of each distribution, making them optimal choices depending on the intended use. Yes, and in addition to Docker itself, you also need to ensure that the container services are set to start automatically. Distributions like Alma Linux, which are Red Hat based, are designed to give detailed control over system and service management, making them an excellent choice if you want to dive deep into learning. 
Well then, everyone, see you next time. Goodbye.